Thank you for joining us. Now, there is a reprieve for county health workers indeed. Members of parliament have now unlocked the county funds to end their agony. And Katie and Sam Ogina joins us live from our studios at INDEM with this story. Sam, what do we know? Well, the National Assembly has essentially approved the, count, the division of revenue bill, and uh, now that paves way for disbursement of cash to the counties. Now, essentially what the National Assembly has done, it was a unanimous decision by the National Assembly to rubber stamp this bill, paving way for uh, cash to be transferred to the counties. Remember, this is 226 billion shillings uh, that was actually frozen by the mere fact that uh, the division of revenue bill was still pending in the National Assembly. And as such, counties could not be able to pay their salaries, that is the staff salaries, and also uh, finance medical services. And as such, we've been able to see that uh, uh, there was uh, medical service, service w medical workers actually uh, downing their tools on a ghost law. And as such, we've been able to see that at least four people have lost their lives uh, uh, owing to this fact of uh, uh, county workers, health workers, downing their tools. Now, it is a reprieve for counties, uh, first of all, and also it is a reprieve for health workers. And finally, it is a reprieve uh, for governors for they will be able to now to access uh, their funds and also uh, finance their projects and finance uh, uh, and pay salaries to their staff and workers. And here is the piece that I filed early in the day. 266 parliamentarians voted to unlock the chalk in service delivery at the county levels after a week of protests by health workers over pay that has crippled operations in the counties. The MPs in passing the county allocation of revenue bill shortened the publication period from 14 days to 7 days. Translation, once the president has sent the bill into law, counties should receive the 226 billion shillings within 7 days. County governments have been unable to pay salaries to their staff and finance medical services due to lack of money. The 19th of August, there are many doctors who have not been paid their salaries for the month of July. Their colleagues in the private sector will be receiving their July as the August pay in just a few days. They have not been paid for the month of August. They have children to feed. They have rent to pay. Their wives also have to eat. The delay in passing the Division of Revenue Bill occasioned by failure of MPs to agree with senators on the funding of Level 5 hospitals. Senators had proposed that the national government spend 3.4 billion shillings from its budget to fund the hospitals, but MPs wanted the counties to foot the bill from their own allocations. Nonetheless, a mediation committee of the bicameral house was constituted to unlock the deadlock. The committee reached a consensus recommending that national government allocates 1.87 billion shillings as conditional allocations to finance level 5 hospitals. Health workers across counties are on a ghost law, protesting over their delayed salaries supposed to be paid by their respective counties. The workers say county governments do not have the capacity to manage public health facilities and the function that was devolved should be managed by the national government. Countries that have built the health sectors, India, uh, Brazil, devolved systems. They have been devolving healthcare for more than 10 years and they're still continuing to devolve, not being everything all at once. We exp what we witnessed was ulafi, gluttony by the governors. They want everything even if it's going to choke them. Consequently, they're unable to handle the human resources for health and they're resorting to passing the buck. And we are saying enough is enough. Governors, on the other hand, have blamed the National Assembly for dragging feet in approving the Division of Revenue Bill. The workers had downed their tools at a time the county is on a full alert of the Ebola scare. Samogina Ketien.